What's up, y'all? We're back in the squat rack, baby. It's time. So today I'm getting a little bit of leg workout in here. Tomorrow I'm training back. I'm back at a gym. Gyms aren't officially opening up, but um, you know, you have friends who have gyms. It's a good thing. They're opening up later, hopefully in Tennessee in the next week or two. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, so what I want to do today is I want to bring some squats back in. I've been doing these, but what I'm thinking is you do two workup sets and then you do three sets of three. That way you can focus on form and get a little bit heavy and challenge yourself. So if you haven't done squats in a while, that's great. If you have been doing squats, it's a good way to go heavier. So we're gonna go two warm-ups. I did three, I did 135 for two sets of five, 225 for a set of three. Now I'm gonna do 315. These are CrossFit weights. They look much more intimidating than they are. 315 for three sets of three. So let me just get my set right here and hopefully I don't fuck it up or else it'll look really bad. Alright. So I'm nice. I feel good today too. Could be all that quarantine sleep. See that's what I want from you guys, man. I want you to get perfect reps. I see a lot of guys like, I did 12, 15 sets of squats, like, squeak, tweak, squeak, squeak. A lot of pro bodybuilders do that shit too. But you don't, you very rarely see people like Branch and Johnny used to get, uh, get up in there and take that shit down. Ass to the grass, dick in the dirt. That's where I want you to squat. Get nice and low, and if you can't get low enough, work on that mobility. If you want a good, um, it's usually ankle and calf mobility. So what I want you to do, if you have bad mobility, you can't get in a deep squat, or even you have to put a plate under your heels. Look, let's stop putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. Go on uh, YouTube search, put in Pillar Prep Low Blinder, P-I-L-L-A-R Prep Low Blinder. Some great videos on how to use foam rollers to better the um, elasticity of your calves and ankles. All right, y'all, check it out. So we are absolutely rocking and rolling today, enjoying this weights, enjoying these irons. No, enjoying these weights, enjoying this iron. Use the wrong verbs, words, at fuck. Okay, anyway, check it out. So right now we're doing Romanian deadlifts. Now, Mark, why aren't you doing conventional deadlifts? Well, conventional deadlifts are a hip dominant leg movement. That's what they are. A lot of people use them for back, including me, but that's not really what it works for the most part, it does use your back, but it's not a back movement per se. It's not a great movement for hypertrophy of the back. If you are a power lifter or an athlete, the work it does, the strength it builds in the posterior chain is phenomenal. However, on hamstrings, I want something that targets the hamstrings, but also gives me a lot of the benefits of deadlifts. This is why if a bodybuilder, you had to choose between conventional deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts, I want to choose Romanian deadlifts 100% of the time. Now, if you are a beginner trying to build an overall base of strength and increase your posterior chain strength, or if you're an athlete trying to get faster or recruit more muscles to be able to dominate on the field, I would recommend a recommend recommend. Fuck, I'm trying to sound smart and I'm failing. We're not going to edit any of this. A conventional deadlift, not even a conventional deadlift. Fuck all that. I'm going to recommend a hex bar. Deadlift, but anyway, Romanian deadlift, grip, just like this, just where your hands fall, like yeah, bonk, there it is. So I'm gonna walk in, for me that's right on the edge of the knurling, on this bar, bars vary. Knurling is the bumpy stuff, guys, in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come up, okay, so, get your grip, you can start from the ground, or again, it's easier. So you come down, push your butt out, don't just bend its waist, one, come right before the ground, or just tap the ground. You see how I'm pushing out at my butt? Not just bending the waist, a slight bend the knees. Extension of the hamstring and contraction. And it's also gonna work your lumbar, your lower back, posterior chain, not as effectively as a conventional deadlift, but you're still gonna work that by prioritizing your hamstrings. Four sets, eight reps. So as you see, even with weights, yeah, we don't have machines, but this will be a mainstay in all my programs. And this is the banded step up. 
which is cardiovascularly and anaerobically fucked. So what we're gonna do is come here. This bench is not going anywhere. This bench weighs 700 pounds. All right, so ready? One. All that tension on one leg. Eight, switch sides. Woo! Man, I, I've done these first in the workout and they're hard. Coming after squats and Romanian deadlifts, they are extremely hard. So here's the thing. See a lot of people doing this barbells across their back. If you've ever seen a page on Instagram called Jim Fuckery, understand why that's a dangerous idea. This gives you that resistance without the risk of stepping up and falling the fuck over. With that said, four sets, eight reps each leg. So check it out guys. So I've been doing calves. If you guys saw my uh, side chest I posted on Instagram the other day, my calves have definitely not gotten smaller. They might've gotten bigger. I don't fuck it. Um, all I know is that my calves are a genetic weakness. So whether I do 18 different machines or steps, calves are the most genetically predetermined body part we have, but I still train the living shit out of them. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna do four sets of about 10 reps. Now the beauty of using barbell for squats is that you have to balance and balancing ties in all those muscles in the ankles and the calves and even the shin to keep you from falling. So you can't go like four plates, five plates, 800 pounds that you do on a machine, but you're forced to really focus on balance. Just like Fox News, fair and balanced. Uh, never, mind, never mind. I'm gonna lean all the way to the right. You get that, you get that, Katie? They're, they're, they're to the right. CNN is to the left. And, over, fake news. and over the cliff. <laughs> yeah, they, they, none of them are even close to the center. Or even close to left or right. Put a plate on your toes. The 25 pound bumper plate is about perfect. The 45, too high. <clears throat> oh man, I don't know how many reps that was. I just know that you can't go beyond failure on this because you fall. So that's the issue you have. So if you want to go beyond failure, machines are obviously better, but you're working more muscle fibers here. So anyway, I'm gonna do four sets I think that was like eight reps, eight to 10 reps. Hey y'all, check it out. Last exercise of the day. Um, I was gonna be done, but I'm not, because I wanna hit my hamstrings just a little bit more. My next day's quad day. I'm gonna lay out my exercise, um, my plan. But we're gonna film professionally two days a week. Yeah. The rest of the days we're gonna film, what? Yeah, I'm not professional. No, no, you're not. <laughs> but the rest of the days we're gonna just film the bands. So it'll be a new series but I do plan on doing band workouts still for y'all stuck in quarantine. If you guys in Virginia, they said you have until 2022 until you come out of phase one. So uh, get used to bands. Anyway, leg curls. My fat like this better than I like regular leg curls. So I'm gonna come here. If he doesn't kill himself. Not, not, see that? I'm gonna lay down. Whoa. Oh, look at that shit. I thought of that overnight. Yep, that's ingenuity, that's America. See, the thing is, I think it's too hard or too easy. See, if I start burning out back down here, I can Go move closer. Down. Less resistance. That is a fucking drop set, kids. You can't do that with weights. Boom, move closer. I can literally keep this thing going until I'm literally just moving my legs. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so four sets, 10 to 15 reps. I was just demonstrating the drop set. I was just fucking around a little bit. So check it out. That's what we got going on here. So we're gonna do a lot of different things. So this workout, it's worth watching everyone because you don't know if I'm gonna be doing gym shit, if you have a gym, if I'm gonna be doing uh, band shit, if you have bands. So whatever your predicament, whether you have a gym open, you have a home gym or you have bands, I got something for you. I'll see you guys next time.